Hello, hey, and welcome to Making a Drum Machine, episode 5. Uh... Today's video is about super simple filters. The filters are fixed, meaning you cannot change the cutoff frequency of the filter, so they only have an input and an output. The module is very useful for hi-hats or cymbals or cowbells or shakers or whatever noisy voices you've got. That's noise. Because usually you don't want too much low end in your hi-hats, for example. So this is a very simple way to fix that. And the filter circuits also have a bit of gain to them so they overdrive the signal a bit. And I think it sounds very nice in cymbals and hi-hats, for example. And once again, I built this on one of these prototyping PCBs I've designed. And PCB Way sent me a bunch of these for the drum machine. So thank you, PCB Way. Here are the schematics for the filters. So it's based around the CD4069 hex inverter. So that's why we have six filters in the module, because we're using all six of the inverters. You can change the values of the component to get different cutoff frequencies or different gains. You should play with the component values and see what works for you. So, 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 okay, um, let's go and hear what the module sounds like. Okay, let's go. Okay, here it is. Here's the module. I still haven't written anything on the panel. I think it would be cool if it said the cutoff frequencies of the different filters, but I don't know the frequencies, so I don't know. From the top to the bottom, the first four are high-pass filters, and the bottom two are low pass filters and the lower we go the lower the cutoff frequency goes so let's listen to it here i have a white noise generator and this is the output so this is the dry sound and let's listen to the first filter yeah. And the second one. And then the low pass filters. This one is very quiet. And as you could hear, the gain changes a bit depending on the filter, so the volume volume might change a bit. Then we have the output of my hi-hat module from the previous video, and the dry sound sounds like this. Then let's plug this through a filter. Hey, this is Lauri from the future. I totally forgot to mention that, of course, you can stack the filters so you can patch one to the other, you know. So we'll do that. This is our hi-hat sound. So now the hi-hat goes to the third filter, and the third filter goes to the second filter, and that one goes to the first filter. So let's listen to it now. Okay, that's all from Future Lauri. That's I just wanted to add that to the video. So thank you, and let's go back in time. And of course the low-pass filters 
aren't really that good for hi-hats or, or symbols. Oh. But we could maybe use these for drums, for example. I'll take the output of my kick drum, and it sounds like this. Let's see what it sounds like through the low pass filters. They drive quite a lot. Let's see what the other one sounds like. This is the dry. And the filtered. Yeah. But to be honest, I haven't really used the low pass filters that much. But they might come in handy at some point. But I do love the high pass filters. And drums through the high pass filters, they sound kinda awful. Actually, this is not awful. This would actually be good for a snare, snare shell sound. Hey, let's try that. Um, And the noise of the snare is the white noise going through one of the filters now. Nice. So now we have the hi-hat going through one of the filters, the snare noise going through one of the filters, and then the snare shell going through one of the filters. Okay, well that's the fixed filters module. I'll continue to jam with this patch a little bit more and then that will be it. So thank you for watching the video and thank you PCB Way for the PCBs. And I will see you in the next one. Peace, bye.